Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, welcome back to the channel. And you see who we are going to be talking about tonight trying to understand why he always putting ridiculous shit on his social media account yes i am still angry at him for walking in front of the taping that portia was trying to do with the the two beautiful little toddlers little pe- little bitty people that's bailey yep and pj they were trying to do their thing, wearing them heels and whatnot. <laughs> and one of my family members said, oh, he was just mad. I think Michelle said this. So, shout out to Michelle. She said he just mad because those girls going to be scuffing up his floor. <laughs> and I was like, well, what do he think children do? And then he had the nerve to say he want to impregnate Portia. He wants to get her pregnant. No one. Those sperms ain't jumping down like that in his pants. They are not jumping down. They don't killed over, honey, and ready to be pissed out because that is just a hot mess. Yes, I am still mad at you, Simon G, for walking in front of the ladies when they were trying to have girl and auntie mama time. You had no right doing that stuff. That was just crazy. That was just foolish, fuckery, fraudulent. Excuse me. Activity going on. Foolishness, bakery, fuckery, fraudulent activity going on. Like he was in such a rush to get to, uh, get to working out. Knowing you weren't going nowhere but out the door over there by the pool. That you still don't have any type of guard up. That should be a mandatory thing in your subdivision. When you have a pool, because in my subdivision, it's a mandatory thing. You got a pool, you got to have a gate up from that pool to keep little people and sometimes elderly people and some people that get intoxicated and they don't make it to the house. They just want to lay by the pool, can drown. El Damo, I am so over you and your antics thinking everything has to be about you me myself and i that's the only thing you think me myself and i and portia girl i don't know how you can deal with this person how can you deal with this person treating you this way you remember what you wrote in your book do you remember anything you wrote in your a pursuit of oh what is it called the pursuit of portia and her happiness child do you remember all of those past men that you were messing with were trying to dog you out trying to make you lesser than trying to take away your spirit well he's doing the same thing porsche he's doing the same thing and why you won't even joke about having a, a baby with this man is beyond my comprehension i mean i just don't think in that realm of being and doing when somebody's gonna be so rude to me and i i, I i'm with you you kept on taping you kept you didn't miss a beat just because he walked his flanky funky butt past you in front of you while you doing your thing with the girls. You didn't miss one beat. So I'm proud of you for doing that. Still be in your mood. Still be in your element. And ain't no man going to break you. So we need you to pull up all the way. Keep him as a companion if you must. Keep him as a cohort that you come and go and do some dealings with and then you're gonna be by yourself okay being with this asshole of a brother no ma'am no sir no lord no god you don't need to be with this man because if he disrespects you like that i would hate to be thinking what he do behind closed doors girl 
because that was not no accident him just coming through that was a deliberate attempt that like my sister said my cousin my good good girlfriend my boo boo my michelle she said he was mad because you had them kids on his good flow clicking and clacking click clack and lacking and what all that kind of stuff what little people do all day they bother the hell at you and they go get everything better be glad they ain't up in your shoe closet because forget that little plastic mess they had on their feet they'll be really wanting to get in your real good shoes your loafers your sandals your pumps your boots and then what's i suppose i'm gonna do then do he do he even allow them upstairs child because i tell you he'd like to keep that damn house like it's a museum like it's a fortress you okay it's there for all the gods to come in and partake of that's some bullshit you don't keep cheering outside all the time like they animals they got to come in the house and tell up some stuff or they wouldn't be kids do you understand that philosophy but you wouldn't because out of the three women you had Two of them you had babies with. And you didn't even do right by them. So Portia. You really need to be taking a hold on. What he is showing you. Believe it when people show up. And show out on you. Believe that's who they are. You're not going to be able to change them. Because he all. In this damn video. He talking about being consistent. Hell he ain't inconsistent. What is he being consistent? Trying to exercise. And trying to let somebody interview him while he's getting into his training in his element of exercise. He needs somebody to be telling him, what's your motivation? What makes you do what you do? And we're still trying to figure that shit out. Forget about the exercise. We're trying to count them coins. We're trying to see what it give, what it give. And if it don't give, then we got to go. That's what he needs to be telling us. The consistency of working hard. At your craft or whatever you do to make your money. And if you want to build. Like he had up there today. A 87 year old billionaire. <laughs> How to become a billionaire at 87 years old. Who would put that kind of shit on their, uh, their resume. Why the hell you want to be a billionaire at 87. You probably don't even know your name by that time. Especially if you don't ease into dementia and Alzheimer's state. Which we all Will probably one day. Or a little touch of dementia. First or second stage. Hell some of us probably in the first stage right now. I might have to count myself. Cause shit I walk downstairs trying to get me some. Before I get down to the last step. I'll be like what the hell I come in here for. <laughs> get in the kitchen and still can't even remember it. Open up the refrigerator door. Lights on. Food here there everywhere. I'm like what the hell did I want. And then I'm like okay maybe I think about it. Fuddle around or fiddle around in the kitchen thinking I'm going to understand what, it, you know, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to get out that refrigerator or out the cupboard or whatever. Get back to the top of the stairs on my way to the bedroom. And damn, I'll be like, damn, that's what I want. Thank you, Lord. But guess what? I ain't going back down. <laughs> uh-uh. It wasn't meant for me to have. And I crawl my behind right on back in my bed. Yes, I do. So I'm like, what are you talking about? At 87 years old, you should be retired somewhere. You should be sitting up there with other senior citizens trying to figure out if you fart or you burping. Which one? Burp or fart? Which one do you want to do at this time? You know what I'm saying? Just foolish shit. You know, foolish shit like that. Because you ain't got the time on your hand. You got both feet in the grave. Really, at 87, both feet in the grave. Can't go at any time. Though we can't go at any time at our age now. But I'm just saying, this is the foolish Fraud, fraudulent shit he be doing. I'm like, Portia, you really want to get up with this man? You really want to be a part of this dude's life? You really want this dude a part of your life? With all the nonsense he got going on. Like, who is interviewing him when he's supposed to be having somebody train him if that's what it is? Train him, spot him, and all that kind of stuff. When he's trying to lift weights or he's doing an exercise that may compromise, you know, his... Uh, his ability to hold on to. He might need something. Like I said, if he was pumping weights. You know, you wouldn't leave a man unguarded. Because, you know, he might be struggling. Shit going to fall down and bust his chest or bust his head over wide open. You know what I'm saying? So, you need somebody to spot you. But I ain't see him never lift no weights. And it seems, because I got a little peep when he was inside. When he was taking that picture of his children. The graduating class of his, his two sons and daughter. 
on the left side, it looked like he had some barbells in their little cases that he might be lifting weights in the inside. <coughs> and I'm like, Simon, did that big ass house, that million dollar house you got, you didn't put in for an exercise room. Most billionaires, millionaires are people like me. Hey, every old Jill Jane Dub, okay, running around here. I even got an exercise room. I converted or a, what do you call it, a den space. Hell, I made that my work room, okay. And as big as I am, I should be sitting up there in in that. That's the first thing I should go to after work. <laughs> <laughs> that darn room but i go past it like the plague okay because i said one day i'm gonna do it or i'm gonna do this this day so you got me with this exercise but are you exercising on a daily or every other day or are you just doing this for show then you got the damn boxing glove like what you gonna do it you ain't building up your muscles I don't see them coming out and i see like them breasts you got you still got breasts they supposed to be flat boo so you backwards, you you going backwards with the exercise of thing. You need to fire your trainer because he ain't doing what he need to do. But I know he damn sure don't need to be interviewing you when you're supposed to be exercising. He's supposed to be telling you, okay, give me 20 squats. Give me 20 push-ups. Give me 20 jumper jacks. You know what I'm saying? Everything in the same dimensional uh, denomination. And then he might let you get on the flow and do some butt crunches. You know what I'm saying? But we don't need to have him interviewing you like you're doing a documentary on yourself. Who are you, Simon Gobadia? That's what we want to know. Because you're giving us all this fairy tale bullshit. Okay? Either work out, love it because you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to stay in shape. We don't need to know that. Everybody that knows anything about personal exercise and they're trying to stay in shape or they're trying to get in shape or they're trying to lose weight. Those three functions, honey. Those three functions. And you definitely don't need nobody trying to tape you. Like, are you going somewhere? And you need to have this as a history? Let a sister know. <coughs> but right now, you're looking like a nut. You're looking like a poor phase nut. But let's go on into what he was trying to say to the person that was videotaping him. Or I, I don't know what they were doing. I'm like, did you pay the man? Because you have to pay me to sit up there and, and uh watch you. Watch you act a fool. Talking about exercising. You're supposed to be breathing, labor, 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 uh, labored breathing is what you're supposed to be doing. And you're supposed to be catching your breath. And I'm supposed to be, or the train supposed to be saying, you could do it, you could do it. Give me five more. You could do it, you could do it. You're almost at the finish line. You could do it, you could do it. Cut. you done. Okay? But you up there trying to give a dissertation on why you feel you have to be uh, consistent. Like, what the hell is he talking about? And why is he talking? Why is he not exercising? But let's see if we can get this to play. Hold on. Well, first of all, um, getting enough rest uh, every night, eight to at least eight hours of sleep, and then, um, you know, picking a specific time of day to work out. Uh, and try to stick with that. Um, and secondly, if you're unable to even complete a day, maybe you had a previous bad you know, day or something, it's still very important that you show up and do something rather than nothing. So, uh, cumulatively over time, the little things that you do here and there just become whole. So Simon, what mindset helps you to stay and keep yourself consistent? Well, first of all, um, getting enough rest uh, every night, eight to at least eight hours of sleep, and then um, you know, picking a specific time of day to work out uh, and trying to stick with that. Um, and secondly, if you are unable to even complete a day, maybe you had a previous bad you know, day or something, it's still very important that you show up and do something rather than nothing. So, uh, cumulatively over time, 
the little things that you do here and there does become whole. Now that's what he was talking about about being consistent. Being consistent. Well, we know you being consistent as being an asshole, okay, on why you treated Portia and the little girls that way, okay. We know you're consistent on putting dumb shit on your Instagram account, okay, like you posted that 87 year old billionaire or who wants to be or how you can teach a person that's 87 years old to be a billionaire. Are you freaking kidding me? You're consistent at always being around Portia Mama. you consistent with that. you consistent with gifting Portia used cars. Okay, trying to ball her with a no, Rolls Royce, then you're going to ball her backwards with a Mercedes. You're consistent at that. You're consistent at getting a divorce. Look like every couple of few several years. You consistent at that. So I'm set yourself down somewhere. That's all I got for this video, guys. Because ah, I'm just disgusted. I can't take it anymore. I can't. Okay. But you need to be stop being consistent with all this bullshit. And treat Portia the way she needs to be treated. And if you cannot do that, if it all stems on her letting you break barriers to be on TV for you to be a part of the limelight. Couldn't you get with your brother, Nigerian brother, Davito? Can you get with him? No, because you're too old. You out to pasture, pretty much. Like the rest of us aging 50, 60 years old people. Simon, you have had your time. You've had your time in the sunshine. You didn't raise your kids. Your wives, your ex-wives did that. You only probably put in a little towards the financial. But you, ain't, you weren't consistent at that either. You weren't consistent at being a good father to your eldest daughter. She don't want anything to do with you from what I hear. All of this allegedly. But I don't see her taking any of your pictures with you. I don't see y'all hugged up anywhere. Boy, you better be watching this shit. It's there for a reason. You know how they say right in front of your eyes. But you can't see the forest for the trees type of situation. This man is showing you who he is. Black and white. Nothing cloudy about it. He's cut straight from the cloth. He done told you he has cheated before. He done told you in his background of growing up, his dad, his dad for dad for dad. They've had many wives, many mistresses. Nothing new under the sun. You could tell he's not too fond of kids being around 24-7 because he needs your time. He needs you to be pampering him. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like and love, we gotta have more. I'll be back. You know I will be back. Showing and proving. Never know what I'm gonna bring to the stage. Never know what I'm gonna bring to the show. Never know what I'm gonna be having in the house when you come by. Yes, I'm kind of losing my voice today. <laughs> it's all this pollen in the air, guys. Y'all know I'm highly allergic. Highly allergic, child. But I'm making it do what it do. And don't be getting on me. Where well, be the new folks that don't really know me. When I sniff, I'm, it's my sinuses. Okay? I'm stuffed up. Alright? It just is what it is. You've been rocking with me from day one. Continue to rock on. Alright? Keep on rocking. Keep on with me. Hustling, baby. I got to keep on trucking. Yeah, and thank you. Drew did get down in that song, didn't she, y'all? I, I, I like the song. It's a, a cute little diddly. But like I said, I got to hear acapella. I, 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 need, I don't need to hear the auto tunes. I don't need the music playing in the background. I need her to hit a note. You know what I'm saying? Drop it from soprano, alto, and go on down to, is it baritone? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. I forgot. But anyway, that's all I have for this video, guys. And I'll see y'all next one. Bye-bye.